Look for ways to train yourself to think differently. If you have no vision for spiritual fitness, then prayer and Bible study and worship, service, fasting, fellowship, just to name a few, will be a drudge. Okay? You'll mark off your calendar. Well, got through another Sunday, got through another chapter, got through another prayer. It will be a drudge without vision. Now, if you're like me, and perhaps most Christians, you don't really think about the Sabbath all that often. And on numerous occasions, Jesus healed people on the Sabbath, and he was roundly criticized. Now, Jesus said to a man with a deformed hand, he said, come and stand in front of everyone. Then he turned to his critics and he asked, does the law permit good deeds on the Sabbath, or is it a day for doing evil? But they wouldn't answer him. And the man held out his hand, and it was restored. At once the Pharisees went away and met with the supporters of Herod to plot how to kill Jesus. It's a sin to heal on the Sabbath, but it's okay to plot murder. Just keep that in mind, okay? No, just kidding. But changing our minds about Sabbath keeping or biblical rest is about learning why God established a day of rest and worship and then deciding to apply what you know to be true. Now, frankly, sometimes God does answer our prayers and change our circumstances. However, I believe that God is more interested in changing your thinking than your circumstances.